Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll show you how to install an Android operating system into a Raspberry Pi. Now in this Raspberry Pi you just need to connect your keyboard mouse, display, power adapter and SD card for the storage and you're ready to work with your computer. So here I've already connected a Raspberry Pi 4 with a 4 gigabits of RAM and I also connected with my monitor and here is all the interface of the Android operating system. Here are all the apps which are installed currently and here is the app store where you can download all the apps you want. So it's very nice and smooth with the 4 gigabits version. You can even use 8 gigabits version of Raspberry Pi 4 for even smoother interface and if possible you can connect it with a SSD rather than a SD card and it will work very flawlessly. So let's quickly get started with this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is one of the lead manufacturers of PCBs at very low prices. So just add your Gilbert files over here and select the quantity, select the color and place your orders. So this PCB looks very professional, neat and clean for your projects. So you can order your PCBs from JLC PCB. So I'm using this Raspberry Pi 4 4 gigabit RAM model. You can even use 8 gigabit RAM model and also I'm using a heat sink case for the heat management. I am using a 32 GB SD card, you can even use 64 GB. This is type C power adapter with 3 amperes and this is a micro HDMI cable. And also I am using a card reader to install our OS in it. So we need to install few softwares first. First I am downloading this SD card formatter. Next thing we are using a etcher. And from this site you will need to download the OS that is Android OS. So after downloading first we will format our old SD card. So I am using SD card formatter. We will select the SD card and click on format. So after formatting I will open the etcher. Here we'll select the image file of our Android OS which we downloaded. We'll select the SD card. Make sure you click on the checkbox. And then we'll flash the OS into SD card. Once the flashing is done, you will get this kind of error messages. Just click on cancel and eject the SD card from your computer. And after ejecting the SD card, connect it to your Raspberry Pi. So after connecting the SD card, we'll connect all the inputs that will be the micro HDMI cable, USB keyboard, mouse and a power adapter to power the Raspberry Pi. So now we'll turn on everything and here our Android will be booting up. It will take some time around a minute to properly start up. So here you can see the first screen of our Android OS. So first we'll connect it to Wi-Fi so just simply drag down and long press the Wi-Fi button and it will open a window now here select your Wi-Fi network enter the password and you will get connected to Wi-Fi so after getting access to internet you can download all the apps so just swipe up and here are all the apps which I downloaded you can even get more apps from the app store so this is the store from where you can download other apps as well so select or search for the apps you want and just click on download and it will get downloaded. So I'll open the Internet Explorer and I'm surfing on my own website. 
so i'll open my youtube channel as well you can play videos watch movies even you can browse So you can see the list of all the apps open in the background you can kill them now we'll go to the about section and we'll see so the device name is raspberry pi 4 model is pi 4 and the android version we are running is 12. so that was it for the today's video if you like this video then do hit that like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i will see you in the next one Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.